G'day tubes. How's it going? So I got a big question for all of you. Who wants to build a trailer? Okay, so I've got it, got it kind of sort of laid out, but it's not actually going to be that wide. I was more or less just trying out my, uh, you know, if I can get this stupid tripod to work. The uh, 90 degree corner, corner angly thingies, you know, see how they work and stuff. So we're actually a foot too wide there. So we've got to get our axle out and uh, get, her, get her sized up a little better because it's way too wide for that axle right now. So... But anyways, Tubes, this is going to be uh, many, many videos doing this trailer. It's not going to be all done in like, you know, three videos. So I kind of want to spread her out a bit, you know, keep the suspense up. But uh, anyways, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know how many videos are going to be. But probably seven or 8,000. I don't know, something like that. Who knows? No, won't be that many. Only about 3,000. But, <laughs> but anyways, uh, I got my, uh, my other trailer out here. As you can sort of somewhat see, except some arsehole parked the tractor in front of it. But anyways, we got her. Let's move this out of the way, actually. Get this out of here. Put that there. Don't crash into the Jeep. I also got the Jeep pulled up here, too, for doing some future work on it. But I want to do a bit of work on this trailer first. So I know I said I wanted to work on the Jeep first, but... It's there, ready to go anyways, but uh, yeah, so just gonna, you know, have her somewhat propped up here. It's surprising, uh, I parked us here the other day, it's surprising how much uh, oil's in that ram on that thing. That's a big, big friggin' ram there, and <laughs> it takes up a lot of oil. Because um, I put her up that far, and then, geez, I went to uh, do some mowing and stuff, and uh, I looked, there's a little window in the back of this tractor here that, you know, shows you like a... You can see the fluid in it you're good right that was like right empty so i'm like oh that's weird so check the level on the stick on the thing and it was like right down to the ad mark and it's only you know halfway up there so i'm like holy frig i better put a bit of oil in here so anyways we put another half a liter or so back in that just so i could go mowing but uh, you know i didn't want to run it dry so but uh yeah i guess that's a four inch ram eh so four inch by 20 inch stroke that's a you know good two three maybe four gallons of oil there so she's quite a quite a whack but anyways uh, back to this project yes 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 and of course it's not gonna be that long either it's only gonna be uh, five feet long I think so but anyways tubes uh, sort of what my other plan was to do was uh, build this unedited basically so it's gonna be really really long might be kinda boring but um, you know, I gotta live it and you're gonna watch it? I don't know, is that how it works? But anyways, uh, you know, if it's really boring, like I find you know, I'm not here for like 10 minutes or something, I'll uh, of course edit that out, but uh, it'll mostly be pretty much uncut, kind of, you know, because I can't really, you know, jump up and down and, you know, with the camera and stuff, turn it on and off, and so, but uh, yeah, like I say, if it's real boring, you know, I'll of course watch through it all and if I'm like, well, this is pretty stupid, then I'll cut that part out. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so I guess what we should do is uh, get her sized for the first one here, which is around three feet, minus, you know, the two and two inches on this side and two inches on this side. So, but um, it looks like on the front of this trailer here, they've run that top piece the other way I've got it um, like they got the top piece there on the uh, the two side pieces right that way which right now I've got it set up oh come on tripod I got it set up the other way so we'll have to uh, rearrange that and uh, get her sized up to uh, 
the size of the uh, whatchamacallit axle there. So, okay, tubes, here we go, uncut. Yes, the other day I did have a problem with my uh, my uh, thumb, that's why I got it off. Uh, it was my fault though, something stupid, I didn't even think about it. But I was up at the garbage dumpster there and uh, crushing the garbage down in the dumpster and I didn't even think about it and I guess this piece went down and <laughs> kind of bent this down a bit on the side of the bin so it actually did split her open there so I re-welded it and so far so good, it hasn't blown apart yet so. I don't know, way, way she goes I guess, eh? But, let's do a little bit of, oh yeah, holy. tape measure okay so this is like one of the things where I'm gonna cut it I gotta go find the tape measure so hang on tubes we'll cut her here okay tape measure makes it a life a lot easier so we're just gonna measure what we got here looks like uh, 37 and 7 8 so we'll cut this guy at 37 and 7 8 way off there, but uh, once we get this cut, we'll uh, get her aligned, you know. Safety first tubes. Larchers. tube so I just got a big phone call there I'm gonna have to build a big sign so we'll do another maybe video on that that'd be awesome so we got our second bottom piece cut and I uh, got my uh, scriber marker thingy here it's just a uh, chalk marker so we'll get that somewhat where it should be and then we'll get our tape of course I forgot that freaking tapes and uh, Measure down five feet. I think five should be lost. Stay there. Where the heck's five? Mm -hmm. What the heck kind of measure tape is this? Oh, I see. It's a bit of a weirdy. And. Now we'll cut 
could probably do the five feet out of you know one, which I'll probably do. I'll cut uh, you know one five and then the other five out of this one piece. I'll cut up one two pieces, you know. So I'll go back to the saw. Okay, so there's our two fives, not two four, two fives. Ugh. Dump the crap out of them. Looks like gunpowder. Sweet. Yeah, that was loud. Can't hear nothing out of my left ears now. I'm just gonna put this guy back up for now. Two new ones. Okay, so two brand new ones right out of the package. Ready to rock. Let's rock. Okay. off there. I don't know why I'm going to have to uh, step it down, I guess, when I first give it a little zzz, you know. But uh, I'm just going to check her with the tape now, just make sure we got all the same numbers here, there, and everywhere. And it should be pretty darn near close, I think. So, that was 37 A bit wider than I wanted, but uh, that's okay. It's the width of the axle, so 37 and 7 8. Hopefully, this one's the same, or we're really screwed. 37 7 8. We're right in the middle, we got 37 7 8. Holy freaking crap! Now, what about this way? Should we bang on five feet? on and bang on holy Can you believe that now I'm gonna try ooh Nelly and I haven't even been drinking 74 and a quarter if we got 74 and a quarter here we are getting the welder out Holy friggin' crap. We are getting the welder out. Okay, tubes. Sweating my you-know-what's off. There's just no air movement in here. So, I'm just gonna stick this back on. Make sure that's good. Yep, yeah, I think we can make that work. I think we can make that work. Not very heavy. Okay, tubes. Let's plug this welder in and uh, give her some spot welding. Some spot welding. 
so tubes I was going to ask you something but then I had to double think about it because um, <laughs> yeah I know you guys can hear me and see me but you can't smell nothing right I was going to ask you if you could smell the freaking uh, paint that I've been spraying here earlier today but uh, it's okay tubes it's okay I caught myself caught myself but uh, anyways I was spraying a bit of paint it's just a uh, helicopter up off of here into the shops here and uh, those plates I did spray them look tubes you can see yourselves holy so yeah that's the uh, custom stuff I had uh, mixed up for the car so it smells like that real automotive-y paint shop smelly right now wicked shiny though eh I just respray the whole car no I'm not, not gonna do that just kidding but anyways, too, let's get making some uh, some arcs and some sparks and some uh, some something that sounds like bacon frying and uh, get this uh, zipped together here. starting the project tubes we are starting the project let me just double check our numbers before we go stitching right solid yeah yeah Probably say, whoa, wait, 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 you didn't clean that. Nope, we're burning right through our tubes. Burning right through our. Hopefully. Come on. Holy freak.
love the factory looking weld. Freaking right. Set her up on the side. It's gonna stay there now, probably not. It's warm out here. This has got to be a early morning job, I think, next time. And that one I was just having a bit too much fun with. <laughs> Okay, tube slippery out of way. And I apologize, I forgot to move the camera, so you're probably looking at my legs. Sweet. Oh, tubes is actually much cooler outside where you guys are. I wish I could crack that window open. I might have to do something here because this is getting pretty wick wicked hot in here. But anyways, look at the factory looking welds. Holy crap, I even impressed myself. Hey, eh? Could have used another little blob there maybe, but uh, I'm sure she'll hold. Whoa. Pretty sweet, eh? I love this welder. But anyways, uh... There's the starting of our basic bottom frame. 
And uh, now, yeah, so we've got this basic outer frame done now. Probably sh should figure out where I want the axle to permanently stay, you know, and uh, get those deweys lined up and welded on. And then start, work start working on this tongue, tongue, tongue part. So, let's grab that kit that we got in here. Um, it's in the bags over here. A kit for hanging the springs. And some pins and the hitch. Uh, yep, probably this guy here. Sounds about right. And springs to this. We'll get her sort of lined up where we're thinking we want things to be, right? And uh, holy frig. Holy frig. So one of those for one side, one of those for the other side, and then one of these for one side. One of these. There's a bolt that goes through there. A bolt through there. A bolt through here. A bolt through there. And these guys go on here. I do believe. And these guys go on here. I do believe. And then there's a bolt for these guys. Uh, get the idea anyways. Bolt for those guys and then there's your nuts. Holy crap, it's just pouring off of me tubes. All of a sudden it's got really hot. It sucks, I need a big fan in here. Okay, so now let's uh, hopefully those springs fit in these big U thingies here and then the other ones uh, you put um, I think it's like this kind of thing and then the Thingy goes, the spring goes through that. I don't know why they set it up like that. Gives it an extra bit of a flex on these things, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know. So, let's go stab you back on the old uh, third arm here and uh, we'll get something up piecing this thing together. these 
these guys too, but then I still got to weld them on, right? They'll get painted when the trailer gets painted though. things adjustable you know like have different dewies I guess you could drill it and put bolts in but eh eh what she said okay look there Somewhere there, tubes. Okay. Doesn't look right. I've got both the springs on the same way, but. Hmm. Anyhow. So now, this should fit on there. That doesn't actually look too, too bad there. I guess I could spot weld those things uh, enough to get it rolling. Too positive yet which way I'm going to put the uh, the axle if I'm going to do it under like that or over because you can change your height a lot eh? depends on what size of tires you're running I guess but I can't really bolt tires on right now I could get a rough idea maybe Part if I do that, but um, we're not looking too bad there. I'm kind of happy with that. So you can also change your height a lot too if you move these back, right? See, it goes down quite a bit, right? I've just got it straight up right now, so it's about the highest. But uh, those will actually sort of bend and push out as a spring, you know, so I think they're supposed to uh, head a bit actually like this. So when the spring compresses down, they, you know, well, this doesn't move, but all free. It pushes out though, right? But uh, yeah, yeah, something like that though. We're pretty close. We are pretty close, but. You know, I, I'm not taking this on the road, right? So it doesn't really matter if it's not straight up like that or whatever, or, you know. 
it's not going to have a tremendous huge amount of weight in this thing so maybe like a load of topsoil and that's about it right so i mean that's only going to weigh probably five six hundred pounds at the most you know it's not going to hold that much so but anyways uh, let's just have another look at the trailer out here and see how they did theirs yeah see that one's sort of forward a bit right so when the axle flexes up that kind of pushes out and back but uh, this has got a bit different axle on it too it's got a like a riser thing in it there eh? so the axles actually there but then it rises up so I can turn this axle around and I have done it you see I've got the other Dewey's welded under there the perch is there right and uh, geez it jacks this trailer like way up <laughs> like the fender when it's down is about this high you know when it's sitting down normal so it was just too high. It was okay for my big tractor for loading it and stuff, you know, but uh, for the little guys with the cement cement the little tractors and stuff, it was too high. So we put her down. Put her back down where she was. But uh, it was pretty cool. It looked like a real, you know, sporty freaking high lift trailer, right? But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, we're not looking too bad, you know. They've got theirs. I would say that's mostly to the back there's only well right to the axle you know i think we're looking pretty good here like they've got uh the size of this trailer to the size of the springs it's smaller back here but uh you know where the axle is i'd say we're about uh i can't see for the stupid brush but i'd say we're on par pretty close so Let's just go have a look at this stupid thing. We'll get rid of this brush pulled out of the way here. Stupid thing. Okay, that should get us a look. Move the tripod. Okay, tubes. Okay, tubes. So, pretty darn near at the back, eh? I could even maybe go back a bit more, but I don't want stuff to start to interfere with the... Uh, or it's going to pivot for the dump box, right? So, it was 33 and a half from that front mount, so maybe we go to 30 and we'll see how that looks. So, let's go to 30. Okay, so we're back to 30, and that's the measurement from uh, this edge here to the very back of the, the, the square tube. That's 30, and I gave them a little bit of an angle backwards, kind of like that guy does. And, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I think that's going to be too far back. We had 33 and a half before, so maybe we'll try, uh, maybe we'll go up to 31. We'll just push the whole thing up another inch and see how that's going to look. There's 31, yeah, I think I'm happier with that. That'll give me a little more room at the back, you know, for the dumping mechanism-y stuff. And I think proportional-wise, we're pretty darn close there. Um, it's kind of hard to to say, you know, but um, I mean, this is eight feet, and they've got. Uh, oh, let's grab the tape. Oh, tubes forgot the tape again. <clears throat> okay, so this was eight feet. I don't know if I can get the tape right in here. I'll measure from back. Back in there, seven foot, no, it's 85 inches, not quite eight feet, but anyways, they've got, uh, where did they stop the axle here? At about 24. So, that's about 20% maybe. I don't know, I'm not good at the math and stuff, I just, you know, yeah, that's the way it looks. Let's trick and do it. But uh, I would say we're pretty darn close here. I would say we are pretty close. Because you want a bit of tongue weight, right? You don't want it to be flopping around on the front. So uh, once you get the front load and stuff, there'll be a good weight there. So, barf. Um, so there's another question for you guys that uh, I've never sort of figured out myself. These axles have a bend. You see the bend in it there, right in the middle? 
Like it comes up and then bends and then goes back down. I'm not too sure which way to uh, put that. Is that the right way with the bend down or should the bend be up? Like I'm almost thinking the bend, I think I've got it the wrong way. I'm thinking about it myself now. The bend should be the other way. So it's trying to push more weight against that bend, right? And it will straighten it out instead of bending it the other way. I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's right about where the claw is there is where the bend is kind of thing. So yeah, I think I've got that the wrong way because now basically the weight will bend it and it'll bend it more, right? Where if I had it the other way, it would bend against that or push against that bend. So uh, it'd be nice if they, you know, put it up or down, but I don't know. I don't know, tubes. I don't know. But anyways, um, our positioning here I think is pretty decent. So what I might do is... Um, Maybe I'll give these a little bit of a spot weld on here, just enough to hold her, so we can kind of strap this uh, axle on here, and um, you know, put the tires on and kind of see how it's going to balance from the front and stuff, you know, and it's going to be decent that way. So, yeah, I guess that's the next step. See, uh, leaving it back like this too, it'll give me a bit extra to run. Uh, you know the supporting stuff underneath there too right to keep it from flexing like this bottom piece that goes sort of up to the front up to the, the tongue and stuff so that'll give me lots of, <clears throat> lots of lots of go there for that so yeah I guess that's the next step is uh, spot welder and loosely put her together so we can you know roll it around a bit and stuff right but that's gonna be in the next video tubes oh I know suspense suspense what do you do eh can't do it all on one, that's what I was telling you. It's going to be a slow build. You know, I want to make sure I'm doing it right and stuff. And uh, so far, so good. You know, long freaking way to go yet. But uh, we'll uh, we'll get her. We'll get her. It's just getting pretty freaking hot out here now. And I've uh, just about had enough for today. And I uh, need to get this freaking window or something opened. Or jam an air conditioner in there or something. I don't know what to figure something out, but oh, the Jeep's got air conditioning here. I could just like you know turn it on and crank the crank the thing out and put a stink pipe out this outside and uh, hey, a somewhat mobile air conditioner unit. That's what it's good for. Hmm, I'm just tricking you. Don't think I'll be doing that. <laughs> Actually, the air does work in this Jeep pretty good still. When we had her running there, it was amazing how freaking cold it was coming out of there. I was surprised. So, you know, I thought, oh, pfft, junk, you know, that'll never work. But no, turned her on and bang, she come out cold. So, but, uh, but the only thing that is good on it. <laughs> oh, well, way she works, tubes. So, yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I do apologize. I know some of this is going to be boring, but, you know, hey, I had to live it. Freaking you guys are going to have to watch it. You know, so, uh, yeah, but that's about it for today. So, uh, I guess the next video there for <clears throat> working on this trailer, we're going to do the, uh, you know, get those things attached a bit better and, um, we'll get her into a roller tubes and we'll see if we like the height or not. And if we have to put the axle, uh, on the other side of the springs, right? Which, um, could possibly happen. I don't know yet. Looks like it's pretty good good the way it is but I might want her a bit lower it's the way you do it so I got uh, pretty decent tires I guess for um, height wise they're not small but they're not huge so um, you know that'll drop it down well it's probably three inches maybe whatever that space is um, you know plus the spring so you know, this space between this perch and that perch and then the spring, whatever that is, that would drop her down. Uh, well, I do have a tool. We can measure that. And that would approximately drop it four inches. <laughs> so if need be, we could drop four inches off her. But, uh, nar day tubes, we'll get at her a nar day. So, I gotta get some tools cleaned up and uh, head home, edit this all up, and, uh, We'll get this stabbed up to YouTubes. So, have a good day, tubes. Trailer project's coming. We're working on her good. Freaking love the welds. And, uh, yeah, have a good one. We'll talk at you later. Good day, tubes. 
Bill's T Max here. I'd love to give you a shout out on the freaking YouTube TV. So if you'd like to uh, send your uh, freaking letter to this address, bloop, and we'll get you uh, a nice shout out on the on the show. And uh, just keep in mind, we're gonna read this uh, stuff out, everything except your personal addresses and stuff. And uh, and uh, yeah, so send her out, and uh, freak, we'll get you on the show. Friggin' right.